Hi, my name is Dan Tartaglia, and I'm going to show you a software today called EarthenView. I've been using it for more than 20 years now. I use it mostly for batch processing, but it does a lot more than that. And the best part about it is it's really cheap. It's $12 for a commercial license. So I'll open up a file real quick just to get it going. Here's this is drone drone photo I took a while back. So one thing that it is, if you go to your, if you go to this button right here, you can go visit their homepage and see more information about it. And it supports Windows 11. And if you do use it commercially, they would like you to pay for it, obviously, uh, with again 10 euros or 12 dollars approximately. Uh, you can find more information about this software here. But it supports a lot of formats, and it, it can do a, a lot of things for $12. So if I click on here again one more time, I can see the history of changes. The latest version supports multi-PDFs, um, MP4s. Um, it, it, the latest version can also compare images, differences between images. So it's software that keeps getting better, again, for not a lot of money. So let's um, let's look at very really quick the batch processing part here of Earthen View. So I use it mostly personally for batch processing. So if I want to, go, if you go to the file pull down and you go down to batch conversion rename, you see right here there's not a not a lot of information here, but you can do a batch conversion, a batch rename of files, which is nice, and also format change. Under advanced. There's a lot of stuff under advanced you could use to make changes to your images. I normally use this one here is what I'm, is my go-to for just keeping my image sizes the same when I give deliverables to my clients. But there's a lot of settings that I, I have and haven't used that, that are sitting right here that can do a lot. Now, the other thing that it can do is basically a copy-paste. I mean, if I need a small area, I wouldn't say for this, but maybe for my other, my other job. But let's say I need a small area like this or a certain area that I wanted to copy into an email or something or in the PowerPoint. I can do a control C with a window and I can just go to PowerPoint and just go to control V and just whatever is in that window that I made, we'll just copy it. So that's just a nice little, little thing that it does that other software can probably do too, but control C and then go back into go back back into here and just do another control v but it's another ability that it has that it's nice to quickly do another thing that it can do is compare images so let's say i have this image right here and i go to file and i go down to compare images and open up another image And let's open up this one here. And I'm going to have these two checks. So when I zoom in or scroll, I can do the same. So let's uh, let's do that real quick. So let's say I let's say I, I happen to know there is a change in these images. And let's see. I'm going to zoom a little bit more. I want to pan over a little bit over here. And if I click on show difference image channel. I took out two people off this bridge. It's just one small example of what it could be used for, but it could be used for a lot more than that to check one image to do the other. If you made a lot of changes to it for, for one reason or another, you can see what it is. So it's not, it's not it's a new feature they added to this particular software, which is interesting and might be useful. Another thing here that I find interesting and useful is also under image information especially when it's a, coming from a drone, because um, there's more information in the image than, than, than from, a, uh, from other sources. Um, probably a lot more information from a camera as well. But you can see all this information here, but if I click on this right button right here, well, then I also see all this information, even the, the make of the camera that, that actually took the image, but also the resolution, all this information in here, and even the um, down below the longitude latitude of where the image was taken. If I wanted to, I can go to Google Earth. I can go to Google Maps. Even open it up in open show and open street Google Google Street Maps. So there's just um, 
gives you all the information you need off that image. The last thing that I use this tool typically for is if I have a folder of images and I want to just um, step through them and look at them, well, the space bar will go through each one of the images here one at a time. Hit space bar, it'll just go through each one of the images. So if I just have a folder of images, I want to see what's in there and just breeze through them, look for something, I keep hitting space bar, and it'll just go through each one. And in return, if I hit backspace, it'll do the opposite. So a nice little quick thing to do if you want to go through your images that are in a folder. So I'm just hitting backspace right now. Going back into this, and here's those two images right there, those people that disappeared. That's all I really wanted to show you. Um, but again, it's inexpensive software, and it has some very quick things you can do. One other, last thing I want to show you is how many formats it supports, and that's under Help. And if I go down to Frequently Asked Questions, I believe. And if I go down to here, if I go down to, there's a lot of information here, including all, a lot of free codecs you can download. But besides that, if I go down to supported formats, I mean, it supports a heck of a lot of formats in here. Video formats, image formats, pretty much any format you can, you can almost think of, it's in here. That was a quick overview of what Earth and View can do. If you think it might be a useful tool for you, I suggest you download it and give it a try.